All right, now then, her. I've been waiting to speak to her like forever because like she knows programming in a sense. She was reading a book last time we talked to her. It's been forever. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I don't want anything bad to happen to anyone else. Like, I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking the students. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Hey, my, let's just go already. Wait, wait, just, just, just a little longer. Roddy, Roddy's been waiting a while now. She began to pout. I couldn't stop turning the pages through. Oh, though. How, how did Colette have this book? Every time I turned a page of the book Colette was reading, I had more questions. Hey, hey, why are you reading such an old book? Huh? It should be the latest one. This? We looked at it, we looked at each other confused. I thought about it. We're in the middle of nowhere. They, they don't even have ac access to a PC. An old book like this is probably all, all they can get. So this is the latest one you have? Wait. Wait, have you been, ha, have you been reading, reading a more updated book on it? Amazing. She gave me a look of respect. I felt my cheeks warm up. Well, well, even if this book is a little, uh, is, is a little dated, it's good to understand what's in it. Newer, newer books are more useful though. I mean, technology is always evolving. Books are, uh, books are being written all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to learn a lot more about programming, but Colette's voice got much lower. Even if she wanted to study more, she doesn't have the uh, she doesn't have she doesn't have the materials here. I can let you borrow what I used to study. I I, I remember it. I remember it all too. Really? Uh, Colette continued continuance right uh, right enough, and I couldn't help but smile. I've always wanted someone uh, someone to talk with about this stuff. I'll bring it over the next time I see you. Thanks, Mai. I'm going to try my best to catch up to you so we have so 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 we have something to talk about. But hey, could you explain something to me? It's on this page here. Mm, let me see. Colette was embarrassed a a as she pointed. Oh, this? That was hard to explain. I could tell I was getting uh, I was getting very excited. I forgot about the other two. Th they were watching us from from one table over. They're in their own little world. Maybe may maybe we should go back so we don't get in their way. Roddy? No, my is mine. Come on, Mai, let's get out of here. Huh? Whoa, what's going on? I sounded back when I felt my arm being pulled. You completely forgot about us. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to focus, so can you keep it down? Actually, actually why are you still here? You can, go, you, can, you can go now. After I said what I had to, I placed my attention back back on the book. R Roddy grunted. She was upset, but I had, uh, b but I had already stopped caring. Look, Maya's being cold. It's pointless right now. Let's go, Roddy. But I still like that part of you, Mai. I told you she can hear you. Yeah, like, let Mai have her fun. Like, this is fun for her. Let, let her have her moment. I have an idea, you two. Why don't we try to bake something together? Oh, you know, I haven't really had... Uh, I haven't really had anything sweet to snack on in a while. I know, right? Why, why don't we bake a cake? I'll pass. I prefer to eat food rather than rather than to prepare it. I'll teach you. No, I'd rather not learn to hate cakes. Oof, you're so stubborn. Hey, Liliana, you want to bake, right? Are you sick, Liliana? Oh, sorry, I'm fine. Yeah, you you, you seem down. What's wrong? Well, I had a conversation with, with with other kids about future careers, and I said I wanted to be an exorcist, but they said I was weird. Is an exorcist that weird of a job? Liliana, Liliana, who said that to you? You tell me right now. I'll beat him up for you. Uh, hey, my stop that. What are you gonna do if she if she tells you? They're gonna pay for hurting. They're going to pay for hurting the adorable Liliana. Is that a problem? That will only cause more problems. Let's just calm down. I re I really don't think they meant any harm by it. Don't worry about it. Your eyes look so scary. All right, if you say so, Liliana. But listen, don't let them get to you. Mai's right. Mai's right. She has a point. And I, I know you don't hear about uh, uh I, I know you don't hear about too many people who want to be an exorcist, but it's your dream, and it's not something you should you should shy away from, you know. Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm not going to give up on it. I have a question. Where, where do people begin to study exorcism? Uh, exorcisms. It seems so difficult. Oh, oh, I can tell you that. Where's with actually? Ha 
actually has an incredible amount of learning materials about about exorcism. I don't really know why, but it's amazing. I'm so lucky that I found this place. All right, I forgot we have books about that here. You wouldn't find anything like that in, in, in other libraries, but this dorm has a whole section dedicated de de dedicated to the subject. Wow, that is impressive. Like what I said earlier, you don't hear much about exorcism these days. Our generation doesn't do any whole, uh, whole, whole serious conversations on the demonic like uh, on demonic like like maybe once before uh, probably did. If the dorm had an, had an, has an entire section of the, of the library devoted to it, I wonder why they decided to keep that information here. I didn't even know I didn't even know that many books on the subject even existed. Uh, well, if it makes Liliana happy, and so that's why this the, this place is perfect for me to learn how to become an exorcist. You must love to read. Yes, yes, I ran out a new book about uh, about devils yesterday. What is it? I just thought people might might look at me funny if they saw what I was reading in my room. Who cares about what they think? No one has the right to deny what's dear to you. She's right. It's not like you're doing anything wrong. You should read what you want. Bye, Roddy. We we won't think you're strange just because you want to become an exorcist. And if someone gives you any trouble at all, just tell me or Roddy. We'll protect you. Yeah, leave it to us. Okay, thank you. L Liliana's anxiety seemed to melt away. It was nice to see her smile again. Of course it is. That smile is precious. Must must protect. That that's. I spotted Abigail walking into an empty room alone, and I stopped. That was the RA, right? I wonder why she's going into that room. There's nothing in it. Maybe someone asked her to do some chores? Let's go see if she needs help. Do I have to do that? Ugh, fine. I had absolutely no interest in doing that, but Liliana and Roddy already, already trotted ahead of me. I had to go now. Alright, we've come to help you. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing here? I will look down awkwardly. There was a large bag at her feet. It looked like she was, uh, uh, she was packing. We should be asking you the same thing. Yeah, why are you packing your things? The imaginations of Radia and Lidana were running wild. They looked heartbroken already. Well, are you leaving? Abigail took too long to respond, so I caught her out. She sighed and didn't try to hide it. I wasn't planning on keeping it from from uh, from everyone, and I really was going to tell you when I saw you when I saw you next. I found a new job and a new place uh, to live in another. Uh, I found a new job and a new place to live in another town. I'll be leaving here soon. See, I mentioned it before. She's actually leaving. Good. This place is bad. Leave. We're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> uh, watch this all go downhill tomorrow. Or tonight. I get it now. You were being so stern the other day. Because you won't be here to guide us anymore, huh? What? Weren't you scolding someone in, in here the other day? You were watching? Oh, we were just passing by. We saw you hugging right after, uh, after two. I see. Well, you're right, Mai. I already knew that I'd be leaving. I wanted everyone to be more independent. Independent than when I found them. For our sake? Of course. I got I got a, li a little too worked up, though. Liana looked up at her with a deep admiration. Abigail couldn't, couldn't help but blush. So she wasn't just a ditchy girl after all. I I guess there's a reason. I guess there's I guess there's a reason you're the PA. Oh, RA. Oh my, you, you can just be honest with your feelings and tell us, and tell us how, how moved you are with, with her kindness. My, my, you really are a shy, uh, you really are a shy one, huh? What are you talking about? She's the one who, who's blushing. We looked at Abigail, who, uh, who, who's back, uh, who's back to being her usual ditzy self. Looks like she's back to normal now. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring it up, Abigail. I have, I have to say, you, look, you looked so very cute earlier. That's just because Maya was being so nice. Yeah, my isn't isn't usually usually so honest. Can you imagine that that she was just co uh, complimenting you you the other day? She says she doesn't need to know that. I started to feel annoyed with Roddy teasing me so much, so I poked her. Her reaction, of course, was very exaggerated. Goodness, you're so rough. What what does that leave a mark? You have to treat me to dinner for that. Hmm. Why don't I just put you in a box and ship you to a new dormitory so they can deal with you? Hey. All right, all right. That's enough, you two. Though we were bickering as usual, Abigail let out an inelegant laugh. Hmm. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's just that I feel so relieved. 
It's good to see how, how close you all are. As I, as I can wait. I, I can recall Abigail encouraging me to make friends with Roddy. I want I wonder if she already knew she was leaving when she told me that. Well, uh, all three of you need need to stick together, okay? Don't forget that. Okay. All right. I saw the nod agreement this time. Abigail was pleased with her with her response and drew a warm, happy smile. Good talk. Good talk. Wait. You weren't in the cafeteria. You weren't you you weren't on the first floor. Something happened. Oh, because oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's Sarah. We we just found out that she's moving. I, oh yeah. So Sarah, how do you feel about this? Was it? Yeah. That, okay, that's that, that's normal. Thank you for waiting. Let's go. Today's food looks delicious, as usual. C come on, come on. L let's find a seat already. Hmm. Where to sit? Maybe by the window. Hmm. In the corner of the, of the noisy cafeteria, I saw Sarah. She stared li listlessly out the window. What is it, Mai? Oh, I just thought it was strange that Sarah looked so quiet over there. That's true. I wonder if something happened. Oh, oh it looks like the, uh, uh, there are seats over there. Let's go. Can we sit here? Hmm? Oh, it's you girls. Sure, go ahead. Sarah glanced at us, but, but remained still. Shortly after, her gaze was uh, was returned to out beyond the window. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Seriously, is she all right? Her voice sounds so gloomy. She really doesn't seem seems to like herself. Could it be that she's acting like this because something happened between her and, and the RA? Hmm. I find it hard to believe that they'd get into a fight if that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Sarah might scold the RA and, and tell her that she's being being too nice sometimes, but well, well, Abigail usually just just laughs it off. As she sat there trying to figure out why Sarah wasn't eating at all, she let out a big sigh. I can hear you. Why do you go? Why, why do you girls care? So many of the students here, 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 blah, here would prefer that, that I stay quiet. We're just concerned, all right. You don't seem you don't, you don't seem yourself. If you don't want to if you don't want to talk to us, maybe you should talk to Abigail. Sarah's brow switched. I can't. From here on out, I can't rely on Abby anymore. What? Sarah was squeezing her hands, her, her hands currently currently set upon the table in, in the fist. Does Sarah know too? Is it because she's leaving? Yeah, yeah. And and you two were so close. It would make sense that that Sarah knows. More importantly, how do all of you know? Well, um, we just happened to find out the other day. It's kind of an accident. I see. Mm. That works just fine for me. I was going to ask you. She must have felt safe to talk to us since we knew what was going on. I could see she was beginning to relax. Do you think I could take Abby's place? Wait, are you going to be the next RA? Hasn't been decided yet, but I'm one of the candidates being being considered. Sarah seemed even more depressed. Are are you worried they won't pick you? You'd be perfect. You always pay close attention to the rules and you do your best to keep everyone safe. I think so too. That's so amazing that they chose you as a candidate. I'm sure they'll pick you. Do you honestly think so? It seems like Roddy. It seems like Roddy's and Leon's words didn't land. Uh, didn't land with her at all. Something else bothering her. If you want a real answer, you need to tell us what you're talking about. Otherwise, we can't help you. My. It doesn't seem like you're actually stressed about whether or not they're going to pick you. Sarah gasped. She started. Uh, she stared at me for a few moments, but eventually cast her gaze upon the floor. You're right. What? What are you? Uh, what are you stressed because you, you you don't want to be one? I didn't say that, but I really don't know if I'm fit to fill Abigail's shoes. I mean, I am fully aware that I'm stubborn and that I don't have I don't have a great temper, you know. And I know and I know and I know what people think of me. Sarah so smiled through her self. So, uh, self-depreciating uh, comment or, or deprecating <laughs> uh, oh that's all that's all what the heck this could be a big problem if a backhanded gets chosen the other students would look I get it but I think I think what scares you more th than than that is the idea of failing to live up to the role of RA ultimately letting, Ab uh, let, letting out Abigail huh silence fell upon the table if that's what all this stress is about I honestly think it's pointless to, uh, pointless to worry 
Oh no, she's being too quiet now. Was I being too far? I looked at Roddy for some kind of support, but she just stared at me uh, quite harshly in silence. My, as usual, you really don't know how to use your words. Well, excuse me. What Mai is trying to say, Sarah, is that is that this is th th this is a non-issue uh, a, a non-issue issue simply because we're all confident that you'd be a great RA. Knowing you, my as well as well as any of us knows that you you can live up to the standards set by Abigail. What? She wasn't scolding me. How did you think I was scolding you? You didn't do a very good you didn't do a very good job explaining yourself, Mai. I mean, Liliana called me out like that didn't make it feel very good. I just I, I just get shy at complimenting people. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. If Abigail uh, if Abigail was the one who who nominated you for the role, and if she's someone who uh, who, who knows you quite well, that just means you're you're that much more able able, doesn't it? Your pros your pros outweigh whatever kind you think exists here. Pros. Uh, have, haven't you been listening? We, we were complimenting you. We don't mind saying it over and over again, Sarah. You always do the right thing and you're very responsible. You follow the rules. You always care about the other students and you're a kind, dependable senior. Me? It isn't just Abigail who, who thinks that. So many more people would agree with me. You're a great fit, Miss R.A. to be. Ryan and I both smiled warmly at Sarah, whose expression began to soften. I see. You girls might be right. Thanks, everyone. That was quite the combo. A long one, but hey. I, I hope she feels better. I hope she got those, those confidence to do this. And it's Molly. Wonder what's going to happen next. My, it's... They let her heard her laughing before from Roddy and her brows furrowed as she pointed. Our girl was walking towards us. It was Molly. Oh, Oh, so you are approaching me. Us. What do you want? Is she going to mess with you again? Roddy probably got into a battle stance and got very close to me, as if she was going to protect me. Molly was acting a little strange. Normally she would have rushed up to us ready to fight. My. Huh? I'm sorry for everything. As Liliana and Roddy gave Molly a cold stare, she bowed down towards me. An apology? What are you doing? It's just... I'm tired. Everyone's ignoring me. It's like I don't exist at all. I can't stand this anymore. Please, uh, please, would you let me join your group? How dense are you that you'd be able to ask me that? She kind of reminds me of Pick right now. What's the point of apology if all it's meant to do is protect oneself? Everyone... Everyone hates me. They ignore me because... They despise my guts. Calm down, Molly. It's your attitude. It's not you, per se. That's why they ignore you, Molly. What? I've heard people talking. You're always so quick to put down others. I heard you I heard you also command people to buy things for you. If you're, if you're, really, if you're, if you're really doing things like that, of course no one's going to want to be near you. They, they wouldn't know how, how, how to interact with you either. Roddy, Roddy, who stared Molly down moments ago, was actually offering real advice. I guess it really isn't in her character to 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 ignore someone in need, but but I wasn't able to do that when Vina was here. Yeah, I used to have fun. Molly, Liliana gave her a, a look of pity. She must have realized that Molly didn't uh, di didn't have any real any real solid friendships in her life. Your whole life, your friendships have always been fake, haven't they? Fake? If you really think that, then. What, what does the real one look like? I really don't know. Hey, hey, hey! Really, if if you know, just tell me. Everyone trusts you, Mai. Uh, okay, everyone trusts you now, Mai. If I'm able to spend time with you, maybe I can live the way I used to. Please, I'm just so exhausted of this. I don't know what else I can do. The way she looked at me was so, was pitiful. She she was clingy. She was just kissing up to me, and I already wanted to put distance distance between us. You and I will never be friends. What? Molly's eyes were, were quickly filled, filled with despair. Aren't you the girl who used to, who used to stomp around stomp around this place with, with Vina, bullying whoever was in your path? It's offensive that you think you could you could just be friends with us despite all that all, all that you did. Did you think this would work? So you won't let me. Molly crumbled crumbled into the floor. 
the very least, I suggest that you reflect upon your actions until, until the time comes for you to graduate. Reflect? Yeah. yeah. Take, take some time. Examine how it is th that you got here. Search your soul. It's unusual. It, it's unusual you don't feel guilty. M may maybe figure out why that is. It's up to you, really. To accept your sins are... Well, there's not much left to say, really. I've said enough, I think. M Molly started a, start, started a well. I walked back to my room alone. Why? What am I supposed to do? Molly. Liliana, let's go. You can't just leave her here. You can't say anything to her. Uh, you, you can't say anything to her right now. It won't accomplish anything. But Molly. Huh? Elstrain will always watch over you. I'm not sure about that, but... I, I, I remember the carefree girl you used to be when you first arrived here. You used to walk with such a beautiful kindness. I suggest you take some time and repent. I hope nothing bad happens. Oh, hey, we're going to contact the pig now. You know, this whole part is going to be talking to people. <laughs> As soon as we arrive, oh hey, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like, you, you and Pei could try and be like real friends. I don't know. As soon as we arrived at the cafeteria, I saw a Pei from the corner of my eye. There was a girl next to her. It was Molly, the other bully who was who was with, who was with Vina. Are they hanging out again? I don't know. I haven't seen them together like that in a while. They don't seem like they're making friendly conversation o over there. Like 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 Liliana said, it doesn't seem friendly. The, the air between them seemed distant for people who are supposed to be friends. Molly, do you have a second? What do you want? I'm sorry, I'm even attempting to talk with you, despite everything. Seriously, what is this? I just really wanted to talk to you. I want to know what you think. Maya said that I was, Maya said that I, I, I was fake, and, and I think I agree with her. I, I know full well what I've done, but I've placed all the blame on Vina. I could have always, always refused her, her her request, but I didn't. Be, but I didn't because she would have made me a target too. I tried to let other people be on the receiving end of her bullying instead. Well, you're not wrong there. You've always made excuses for your behavior and did things to, to excuse yourself from any responsibility. The word "fake" suits you just fine. Whoa, are, are they going to start fighting? It's it's getting pretty heated. Liliana's eyes seemed anxious as they were fixed on on, on a on a on a contentious pair. Molly sneered at Pick, who turned red from anger or perhaps embarrassment. I, I've always hated you, because of you. Vina did all those things. It's your fault that Vina escalated things. That's why I was always afraid of you. What's your problem? Are you trying to are you trying to blame me blame me now? Pick, Pick. You are not uh, you, you are not guiltless. You, you you listen to each and every one of Venus' orders too. It was because I was scared. You actually enjoyed doing that stuff. That's just an excuse. You're such a coward. It's heating up over there. <laughs> They're clearly fighting. We 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 should stop them. I'm not interested. We need to stop that. We need to stop the fight. Hey, my. Maybe Pig finally decided to, uh, to, uh, to, do, to do some soul searching. Her word suggested that, anyway. The reason why she opened up to Molly was, was probably because she wanted Molly to realize the weight of her actions. I may, I may be giving her too much credit, though. Will they be okay? S someone will stop them if, if it gets out of hand. Despite, despite what I said, I was a bit worried and kept my eyes on picking Molly. I'm tired, yeah. But I feel better now. I don't know how we ended up like this. Yeah, hey Molly, would you mind if I reached out to you again, just, just to talk? I thought you hated me. I do. You know, I, I don't know why I feel that way, but I want to be able to talk through it. I feel like I have to. I don't want to ruin from, I, I, I don't want to run from this feeling anymore. So, is it okay if I reach out again? I guess I'd be open to that. Hey, well, I hope it works out. I hope it works out. I really hope it works out. You uneducated fool. Whoa, what the? I frowned at what I heard. I was having such a, I was having such, such a nice stroll too. Wow, that was startling. I wonder what, I wonder what the person must have done to be yelled at like that. Huh? Is that Elizabeth being scolded? Roddy immediately looked, looked worried. G 
goodness, goodness, young kids these days. Who do you think you are saying that my my products are uninspired and, and pedestrian? <laughs> you better not tell that to anyone else. You got that? Oh, oh my! There she goes again. Why is she picking a fight with that person? The owner is so intimidating. It looks like she's learned her lesson. Should we take her back? Elizabeth was hanging was hanging her head down in front of the owner. You could tell that she was hurt by uh, by his yelling. Y let's go give her. Uh, let's go give her a hand. Good afternoon, sir. I'd like to apologize for my friend's behavior. I'm going to give her a, a talking to when we get back. Or I told the clerk uh, th that she walk her home. The owner seemed surprised for a second, but he was satisfied. With, with a friend like this, you'll you'll do all right. I'll, I'll let it slide this time. You take some sense. Uh, you you you, 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 you take some sense in, 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 into your girl. Yes, of course. I apologize for, for the inconvenience, sir. Come on, let's go. We, we bowed we bowed at the owner. Who finally calmed down and Roddy reached for Elizabeth. To her surprise, she slapped her hand away. Stay out of this. What the? Your friend was apologizing for you. How dare you? I I, I didn't ask her to fight for me. What's with your attitude? What's with your attitude? You, you don't feel sorry yet, do you? Well, well I'm going to give you something to, to be sorry about. Uh, Dear me. Uh, dear me. I stepped out of line. Maybe. If he doesn't want any help, I guess we'll just have to watch the show. On, uh, the owner calmed down a few moments later. His rage subsided. Go. Hey, are you feeling? Uh, Elizabeth, with, with, with tears in her eyes, glared, glared, glared at us, and and so we stopped. She ran off without saying saying a thing. Wait, Elizabeth. Leave her be. She wants to be alone. But will she be all right? Huh? Elizabeth, Elizabeth is very timid. She she's acting arrogant because she's pr uh, she's proud of her family and wants to revive it to its former glory. I see. I thought about how Elizabeth looked before she ran off to do all that, despite failing so many times. Maybe she doesn't know how to, how to handle her pride. Well, let's try to be there for her as much as we can. Uh, fine. As long as I don't, as long as I don't want to, I understand how, how people can be. Sometimes they just can't move on from from the past. I hope nothing bad happens. I'm just going to keep saying that because I hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> we finished our chores of sweeping the town for for the day and headed back to the dorm. We spotted a girl as we walked. We we should have all been done by now, but that but that girl Mercy was still cleaning. Mercy, you're still cleaning. Volunteer time is finished now. Why are you still cleaning? Oh uh, well, if I if I do it, then the townsmen won't won't, uh, won't have to do it. So you're not doing it because you want to? I looked at the townsmen nearby, and they all gave Mercy a cold stare. They seemed to be wanting her to keep her mouth shut. Oh, it's not like that at all. Oh, Mercy, no! Don't be the next victim. She volunteered. Uh, she she volunteered to do it, right? Yep, yep. We just asked her to uh, to, to help a little. Help a little. Why does it seem like she's the only one cleaning? Ugh, they're forcing you to do this. Um, but I don't mind. Again with the fake laugh. You could tell she was lying. R right away, witnessed the townspeople taking advantage of Mercy and began to glare at them. You need to stop this outrageous treatment. Mercy, Mer Mercy, don't clean anymore. We're going back to the dorms. She's helped you enough. Do the rest yourselves. Ugh, ugh, leaving a job halfway done like that. Kids these days are so... The nerve, right? How dare they talk back to their elders? Such useless children. I'll never ask you for a favor again. Finally, they're gone. I can't believe they made. I can't. Believe, I can't believe they made you do all that. They're such horrible people. Ah, that was scary. It's okay now. I'm going to tell my mother uh, to have a stern talking with them. Mercy shuddered. No, 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 no. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that. I feel like cleaning anyways. Um, I don't want to make it a big deal. Yeah, but there wasn't anyone else around. We were alone. Come to think of it, cleaning should, should be done in pairs. Weren't you paired? Weren't you paired up with Elizabeth? Did she go home already? Oh, yeah, yes, she did. What? So she just watched the townsmen wa walking all over you, and she decided to run off without you? That's really messed up. Well, Elizabeth does, does, doesn't know about this. What do you mean? What do you mean? She was here cleaning, cleaning with you, so there's no way she she couldn't have known known about it. Don't tell me you're cleaning here all by yourself from the start. What? I can't believe she forced cleaning onto you like that. Is that true, Mercy? 
No, no. Elizabeth was cleaning, but she started to feel unwell, so I just told her to go home. She 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 tried to help me until until the very end, but I was worried about her. Is that so? If she's sick, she's sick. But when but when that happens, she needs to be, uh, she needs to report it and get a replacement. Well, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, uh, anyway, anyway, it's it's probably best I report this to my mother. The townsmen should, should not be demanding students to clean. It's terrible. Don't worry though. I'll keep your name out of it. Um, if possible, please don't mention Elizabeth either. If you've been cleaning, if you if you've been cleaning the whole time on your own, it means she didn't take responsibility and for and and, and for her her sickness. Roddy's being so mature about all this. Wow. But there wasn't that much left. Uh, but there wasn't that much time left. I really thought I'd be able to do it on my own. Ru uh, rules are rules. There isn't something you can you can brush away. You you can't do it. Don't tell on Elizabeth. Please don't do anything. Huh? Just getting riled up knowing Elizabeth w w w would it get talked about. It's rare to see Mercy worked up like this. Fine, fine. W we'll only report uh, we'll only report the townsman. You hurry on home. Uh, Roddy, bye, thank you. Well, uh, see ya. Uh, I just wish we could do something. I hate to see people being taken advantage of. If it's what she really wants, there's not there's not much we can do. Let's head home. Okay. Not much we can do, huh? Saying it out loud didn't make that phrase any less bitter to me. Ooh, ooh, ooh mercy. Or, like seriously, I'm worried about Mercy and Elizabeth. Mer especially Mercy now. Never know what. Never know what. What's gonna happen? Hey, Mike. Um, what should I pack? Don't bring anything you can't run with. Packing light would be the smartest move. Uh, I can't decide what to take. Well, money or food, for example. No harm in bringing that. But it's limited to what fits in your bag. If we're being chased, we need to be able to run, right? I see. Got it. I don't have much in terms of luggage. Let's go the details of our escape in the hallway. Um, perhaps we should save this conversation for our room? That would be smart. Are making the rounds right now. Each student was in charge of keeping her room clean, but the maids were in charge of, of changing sheets and doing laundry. It was poor timing. Discussing in our rooms was even riskier. Makes sense. Then what do you propose? Somewhere we won't be overheard, which is surprisingly hard around here. Even going outside, maybe even going outside might, might be easier if we weren't safe. In our own rooms, we weren't safe from from, from eavesdropping any, anywhere. If no one's nearby, this will do fine. At least in the hallway, we could hear someone approaching approached by their footsteps. There seems to be no one around. I guess this is as safe as anywhere. We huddled closely, con continuing our secret discussion. Elizabeth, if we do not hurry, the headmistress will be furious. And of course, it's these two. It's these two. I was worried about these two, and now, oh, I'm still worried. Well, I mean, now I'm even more worried. I know, but take it easy. Goodness, setting the table is tiresome. Wait, is that Roddy? And the newcomer, Mai? What's wrong? What? Let's hide over there. Oh no. How do you know we're troublemakers? We done nothing wrong. What do you think they're up to? Tomorrow night we'll leave town. Finish packing by then. Right. I'll have everything sorted. <gasps> hey, Mercy. You heard them say leave town, didn't you? Uh, d did they? That's right. I definitely heard it. Scandalous. Oh, Mercy. We can't stay here. We have to prepare as well. Prepare? Prepare for what? <clears throat> Are you paying attention? We're following those three when they skip town. <sighs> I've always thought I was destined for bigger things than a small town. Doesn't the city life suit me? What? You can't just up and leave. Besides, we'll be punished. What are you saying? 
We're never coming back, so who cares if we upset the faculty? B but... Mercy, do you want to stay in this dead-end town for the rest of your life? I refuse. I'll rot if I stay here! You know, if you want to leave town too, you can go and talk to them. Uh, they don't know the dangers outside. They really don't. But yeah, like why, why, why sneak around about it? You, you, you know that they're sneaking out. So hey, 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 can we join you guys? We want to leave too. It'll be dangerous out there. But hey, this place sucks. It's dangerous. <laughs> well, we want to leave. Please, mercy. If you love me, won't you join me in starting a new life? I. Okay then. I knew you'd come around, mercy. I love you. I love you too. Okay, let's get out of here. Mercy, turn back and enter the cafeteria from the back entrance. Okay. Oh, Mercy. That's it. That's all we need to do. Oh, Mercy. Okay, got it. I'll be sure to gather my belongings too. Oh, that's right. Hang on a second, you two. What's up, Mai? Yes, Mai. What is it? About tonight. I told Sheena I'd search the shopping district with her. The shopping district? How come? Is something there? Mm -mm. We might get a possible connection signal out there. She was hoping to get in contact with someone. I see. So she's trying to communicate with someone using a phone or computer. If Luna was aware of the existence of cell phones or computers, then how were the residents of the Coral so unaware? Unaware. <laughs> It was like this town was stuck. Uh, was stuck two uh, two decades ago. Another example of this town's bizarre, bizarre spe spe spectacle. I know those. Mai told me all about them. Um, let's see. They're magic tools, right? Liliana, Sheena said she could get in contact with someone with her device, which is why we need that signal. I think Sheena has an urgent message for whoever's waiting for her on the outside. Oh, I see. Uh, are you two ignoring me again? Meanies? It is magic, right? Yeah, sure it is. Yes, something like that. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Either way, I'm helping her look for that signal. Since we're planning a big escape, we should stick together. But I won't force you to come. Okay, leave it to us, Mai. Yes. We'll be right behind you. Thanks, you two. Hey, hey, Mai! Yeah, Roddy? Uh, what do you mean by signal? How do you... You have to know what a signal is, right? Roddy shook her head in, in disappointment. Just what planet does he come from? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mai and Roddy. You're safe, Liliana. Sorry for asking you to, uh, to, uh, to look for a signal with us. It's quite all right. I, I want to stick by you as much as I can. You're so brave, Liliana. Oh, oh, but so I am. Uh, but so, so am I, Mai. Okay, okay. Listen closely. We're searching for something called a signal to help Sheena. Uh, uh, Miss Sheena? Mai, uh, Mai, Mai, Mai. You, 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 you have me though. Drop it. Ah. When we leave town tomorrow, Sheena's gonna help us. So tonight, we're, we're helping her. It's not like Sheena's mission was unrelated to our cause. Getting in contact with someone on the outside, if possible, could only help us. We had we had to help Sheena when, when possible. I I hope I hope we'll I hope we'll be able to connect somehow w w with the signal. Yes, yes, it it, it can help e even a tiniest bit. Oh, uh, here she is. You're late. So sorry, I took some time getting ready. Sheena came just after midnight. I I, uh, I couldn't be helped as she's on call and, and her house is a is a ways is away from the dorm. Sheena, are you all right? You spoke to the headmistress. Are you okay? <laughs> Righty will accompany us uh, to find the signal. If that's okay, right? Yes, of course. It's best for all. It's best for all of us to stick together, even for a short while. Mishina, are you tired at all? You must be working so hard. No, I'm, no, I'm wide awake. You, you look tired of me as well, Mishina. What? What? You're not feeling well? Should we cancel tonight? 
No, really, I'm fine. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up to find the signal, okay? You're not fine. What happened? What did she do to you? I'll <laughs> do it. To, uh, do it tomorrow when, when you got some rest instead of instead of pushing yourself tonight. Absolutely not. We, we need to get out of here as soon as possible. Right, of course. You won't argue with that, but you're still gonna look. Uh, push, but you're still gonna look, gonna look tonight, aren't you, Sheena? Yes. Yes. Quick, quickly now. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. We depart tomorrow, but first, find that signal. And thus, the dark hour is upon us. Let us go to the shopping district area and get that signal and find that signal, so we can, you know, progress. But oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what's gonna happen? Come on, let's go. Uh, place where we yeah, shopping district. That's amazing, Sheena. You even know where you can get reception. I guess you're not a world-class spy for nothing. What? Me a spy? That sounds good. A world-class agent. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, but but it's amazing you can tell where the reception is. Of course. But I was just saying my hunch. Anyways, let's go to the shopping district. Oh, a safe point. All right, to the shopping district. And I hope they mean like the shopping district and like. Yeah, that's if I am able to find. It will instantly go to where they want me to go. A safe point. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nighttime freaks me out as usual. Hey, Machina, are we really going to find fi find a single out here? Oh, wait, a, a, oh, wait, oh, a shingle out here? Roddy, Roddy is not a shingle. It's a signal. You're just so cute, aren't you? <laughs> Sheena? Oh, uh, a a anyway, anyway, the signal, uh, the signal should be around here. Let's look. Indeed, Sheena, you are tall. You are tall. It's like, yeah, you are tall. <laughs> That's all I can say. Well, there's a key on over there, so that's basically where they want me to go. So, yeah. I already know what I'm, oh, I'm, I already know what I'm looking for. I'm gonna get over there. Okay, yeah, whatever, the, uh, I, whatever I just fought was like really tough for no reason. Like. Seriously, N no reason. So, yeah, I gotta be worried. Oh, wait, just wait, just a curse ball? Man. Say what? Say what? Say what? Oh, I mean. Yeah, say what? Once again, running into enemies, like, these enemies are, like, strong for, like, oh, NANI?! Huh? What? How do I help? What? How do I open that? Wow, okay then. Uh, looks like I'm going the long way around. that but like I probably just in the in the game zone. Like I'm just walking finding things but like these things are like strong but there's a lot of stronger enemies now. Like it's just dangerous now. Okay. After a while there's a PC here. Oh you know fighting things. I made it. Three seven five six four. <laughs> Right. What's going on here? 
treasure box. Oh, well, I don't know what I just picked up. But yeah, gotta worry about that stuff now. More to it. Reveals uh, pathways, only little fake walls, uh, treasure chest up here, and the patch goes. Okay, I feel like it's around here, but I have no bases. Well, you're a mage. I wish you could teach me magic. You won't be able to do it, Roddy. You're, you're dumb. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's messed up, Mai. Cheer up, Roddy. Let's go look. Where is it? All the way over there. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna. Yep, yep. Cut there. There's a PC here. Finally made it to where I need to go. Like, oh boy, difficulty curve. Big jump. Big jump. I need to put like tons of HP and like, yeah. I mean, not really like difficulty curve, but like, geez, enemies are like a lot stronger now. All of a sudden. I expect there's no one here. Is it busy during the day? There appeared to have several uh, several storefronts, but it was eerie and decrepit. Decrepit. It baffled me to think people so uh, shopped here. Oh, you're talking. Okay, I just didn't hear Liliana because her voice is so slow. Low. Well, sure, but... It completely abandoned. It has storefronts, but nothing I could imagine would be worth entering. I'll check the laptop too. She and I split up. Checked my device to see if there were were any nearby connections. Ryan and I uh, helped as much as they could, treading carefully around the area. No matter how thorough our search was, however, nothing came up. is a draft in my phone, so we'd only need the slightest bit of signal to send it. <sighs> but maybe it'll have to wait for when we leave town tomorrow. I suppose. <sighs> Sheena was crestfallen, but 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 determined. She did another lap around the area with her with her phone in hand. But I put my laptop in sleep mode, preparing for the eventual trip back to the dorm. It was then that something moved in the corner of my eye. What is that? A chair, conspicuously placed in the middle of the road. What piqued my curiosity was a black, uh, contorted object resting on the seat. There's no way. I muttered softly, as if to convince my, uh, myself, sauntering cautiously toward the chair. What's wrong, Mike? Uh, oh no. Roddy, Roddy, who followed followed right behind me, scrunched her nose from the offensive odor of what sat on the chair. The putrid odor was unlike anything I had ever smelled. It must be a decomposing animal. Wait, that's no animal. I was gonna say, I don't think that's an animal. <laughs> is that someone's? Leona froze, unable to com complete her sentence as she stood rotted. A root, root, root to the spot. Yes, it was a human arm. It was this color. It was this color black, missing chunks of, of flesh to, to reveal the white bone underneath. It still retained some shape. Its five fingers were all twisted, and the cloth was shredded, shre shredded around the arm. There was little I could assume from it. Out of courtesy, Riley sought to protect Liana by pulling her into a quick embrace, but she only pulled Liana into her chest. 
A decomposing arm sitting on a chair was the last thing I expected to find in a busy part of town. A gift that keeps on giving. I began to question if we were the strange ones for being so normal, so unaccustomed and naive to the happenings of Olicora. Yeah. I'll investigate. Step back, everyone. No, I got it. Hey, do any of you notice the arms holding a piece of paper? <gasps> now that you mention it. We were meant to find this. It was tough to notice seeing seeing as the arms decay decayed and mutilated state was, was distracting enough, but definitely held something. She had carefully extracted the sheet of paper from from from, from the arm. Password here at a time like this, my curiosity got the better of me, so I got close to Sheena. Just like the password I, I had found before, I thought perhaps it, it could help us unlock a feature on the laptop. Here, take this. Try typing it into the laptop later. For some reason, she, she, Sheena drew, 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 uh, Sheena drew a blank as she handed hand the paper to me. What's wrong, Sheena? This arm. It belonged to a man. Yo, Sheena, are you Sheena, are you suggesting that this is Mizunashi's arm? I could tell Sheena was fighting back there to share with us her 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 thought process. The handwriting on the sheet. And this arm. But it couldn't possibly. No. There's no guarantee it belonged to Adata Mizunashi. Don't jump to conclusions. I had no proof to back it up, but I wanted to but I wanted to comfort Sheena. You're you're right. Misunashi couldn't have been killed so easily. I'm fine. My thank you. Hey, it's nothing. <laughs> Mai's embarrassed. So cute. It seemed Roddy had calmed down from from the shock too. Although I had a hunch it was it was a front. Anyway. Why don't we head back for the night? <laughs> Ignoring me again? I agree with my... Same here. I don't really want to stick around much longer. Then it's decided. Sheena, we're done for now. Is it okay for us to stop here? I yes. Let's go back. This took a bit longer than I thought it would. In truth, I worried most for Sheena. I think that her search for answers will lead her to something she was not prepared to find. All right, let's go back, everyone. We try it. We try it. In the end, we couldn't find any place with a single la uh, with a signal last last night. But the night we'll be leaving this town, we're sure to we're sure to have plenty of ways to, to contact people. So there's no need to rush. I hit the bag. I, I had finished preparing underneath my bed just to make sure it wouldn't be found by any maids. I was, I, I, I was, I was prepared for our trip. Was there anything else I had left to do, much like Roddy? I, I didn't. I didn't care for walks. Perhaps she had become excited, but, but she loved saying she would take a walk. I was sure that, that uh, much more than me, Roddy had plenty, plenty to think over. After all, she was leaving her hometown. I, 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 I could give a good guess as to why Roddy wanted, wanted to come with us. But I was hesitant to ask her directly. It would hurt Roddy deeply. That was my gut feeling. Are you really okay with this, Roddy? Roddy was a good kid. I had no objections uh, to her leaving the town with us. That's why if Roddy wished to go, there was no point in me worrying about it, any, uh, uh, about it more. Yes, if Roddy said she wanted to go, then I would stop thinking any more about it. Perhaps Roddy was trying to spend her last day with her in her own special way. I... I hadn't found the night yet. The only thing I regret it. What if we stayed here, Liliana, Roddy, and even any of my life was in danger? If I died, that would be the end of everything. That's why I waited until I had left the town to think, uh, to think on it. Luckily, Sheena, Sheena, Sheena would be with us too. I was no longer alone. Alright, time to leave. Seems like Roddy's back. Just getting words with and they throw, uh, 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 either I escape or die trying. <laughs> 